yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have pushed so hard. It's just, it's been so long. I thought you were ready to get out there. It's no big deal. I'd like to just be alone. I'm gonna be real with you, man. You're freaking me out. What's all that talk about being with them again? Are you talking about taking your own life? <laughs> what? No. I'm talking about doing whatever it takes to be with them. But you do know that they're not coming back, right? You accept that. Accept that? <laughs> Why? When there's something I can do about it. I'm, I'm sorry. Something you can do about what? The accident. You think there's something you can do about the accident? Will you listen to me? Yeah, of course. Why do you even have to ask? I've found a way to bring them back. I've invented a time machine. That's not funny. You, you can keep isolating here if you want, that's great, but don't mess with me. Uh, you and I have studied the physics of time travel since we were in grad school. What if I told you I found a way? We studied for the fun of science fiction. You're not Doc Brown. I'm definitely not Marty McFly. I made some discoveries I think you'll find interesting. Jacob, you're not serious. Yes, I am serious. Okay, you know the magnetic field that protects the Earth from the sun's radiation? Yeah. I found a way to concentrate that into a sphere large enough for a man and powerful enough to protect the subject inside of it from absolutely everything. Light, gravity, and time. You're starting to worry me, Jacob. You don't think that's really possible. The ancient Egyptians tracked celestial energy fields that they thought connected them to the gods. But what they really were, were cosmic wormholes. I'm gonna tap into one of those wormholes and it's going to travel me at near the speed of light for seven minutes on a route that intersects itself about our local planets. Hey, calm down, friend, okay? It's... When was the last time you saw Dr. Brooks? Don't do that to me, Frank. I'm not crazy. What would happen to the time quotient of Einstein's theory of relativity if it were to intersect itself on a closed loop? Jacob, you're my oldest friend. Please, can we talk about getting you to a doctor? Answer the question. Fine, it would turn on itself and become a negative number. Exactly, exactly. The time dilation would go in reverse. I'm calling Dr. Brooks. I could travel back in time. You need to relax, okay? And just maybe some help. Listen, I know how you feel. How the fuck could you possibly understand how I feel? I mean, why does everyone keep telling me what I need? Just, please, look at this, Frank. <laughs> This is crazy, okay? This is not a time machine. This is just you not accepting reality. Or it's an elaborate way of killing yourself. Jacob, I need you, okay? I need my friend back. Oh, oh, you need your friend? I need my family! Okay, I know this motivation have made it so you made some fascinating discoveries. Okay, but you are somewhere in a fantasy now. I, I just need someone to believe me, to stop telling me how to grieve and support me. I thought it could be you. Get out. Get out of my house! I lost her too! Sarah was my goddamn sister! I lost my niece and my nephew. You don't think I want all of this to be true? You don't think I want to go back? Rescue them? I loved your family. You were my family too. When we lost them, I can't go down this road. I can't pretend we can have them back. willing to listen to me, that's fine. I'm even more
more alone than I thought I was. Get out.